In order to cut glass in mirrors, you will need to purchase a glass cutter. This is a basic glass cutter. The name is a bit deceiving because it actually scores the glass instead of cutting it. The proper way to hold it is to grasp the handle and then put your index finger on the flat part of the handle. When cutting the glass, you will add pressure downward with your index finger. You will note a small wheel on the very end. That's the actual mechanism that cuts or scores the glass. You want a large flat surface area to work on. Lay the piece of glass on a large piece of cardboard, towel, layers of newspaper, or in this case I used an old moving blanket. This is to add some shock absorption in case the surface has some irregularities. There are many thicknesses of glass. The one I'm using is called a single pane glass. It's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. And just a side note, never try to cut tempered glass. Tempered glass will shatter. Mark the glass where you want it cut. Firmly hold down a straight edge, such as a square or level. You will make one pass down the edge of this guide. With the wheel on the edge of the glass, you will make one pass applying pressure. When making the cut, it should have a coarse scratching sound. You should then have a noticeable scored line on your glass. Line up the scored mark to the edge of a table. Hold down with one hand and give a quick snap on the hanging end. When cutting mirrors, you will use the same technique. The only rule you'll need to know for this is to have the mirror side up. That's the side you will make your score. And once again, using a straight edge, you will make a quick score with one pass. Line your score up on the edge of a table, and with a quick snap, the two pieces separate.